road to Avondale. What's the initial feeling after that? 1-1, one, one, but you know, not 1-0. One one. <laughs> Same thing. Um, yeah, look, tough tough place to come and get a result, like we've always said. Uh, grounds, no way it should be allowed in the NPL. Uh, it's hard to play football. But again, you know, um, you know we, we scored a goal in the second half, and then uh, I think we had three opportunities to get the ball before we could send it our goal. So, um, and that's going to happen in this ground, doesn't matter which team comes here. You make uh, half a mistake and you can see the goal because it is a small, compacted field. Um, but look, uh, one point away from home is positive. Uh, keeps it top five and uh, just keep going. Happy we with uh, some of the new boys and their service from today? Yeah, look, Harvey scored again. Can't ask for more than that from a striker. Um, Theo didn't get much of the ball, unfortunately, today. Uh, and I think this ground doesn't suit him. He's a ball-playing uh, attacker, so... Uh, uh, you know, Clark here played 90 minutes. Uh, Daniel Clark, and he did well. Again, tough conditions, so... No, I was happy with everybody. You happy? You think it's a matter of time for all the new boys that, you know, to, to actually get some progression and, you know, gel into the team to take a bit of time? Yeah, they've played three games together now, so... And um, they've trained probably, you know, Theo's there two and a half, three weeks before he played his first game. So the boys have definitely gelled. Um, Again, you minimise your mistakes, take opportunities, and you come away with three points, regardless of who you play. Uh, but the boys, you know, they're, they're working hard, they're extremely hard. Uh, you know, now we've got our catch up game against Oakley on Wednesday, it's going to be a tough battle, tough game. Uh, they picked up a few points in the last few weeks. Uh, but it gives an opportunity, hopefully, to take three points and do away from uh, the teams underneath us. Three games in eight days coming up, um, everything, you know, we're all prepared for that. Yeah, look. We, we've got Joe Vainich missing for injury, Marcus Rowe missing for injury. They'll come back uh, this week sometime, so that'll give us a bit of depth. Um, yeah, you know, a big game, like I said, wins against Oakley. Then we've got the FFA Cup or Doherty Cup against Ballarat away, and that's going to be a tough battle as well. So uh, we're looking forward to the challenge and uh, hopefully um, they're positive results for us. You looking forward to that FFA Cup game, or is it just Oakley? So no, no, both, first? both games, yeah. definitely. Look, our aim from the start of the season was to make the top five. Uh, of the of the seat of the league, the top six, the finals, um, and definitely to make at least the semis of the Doherty Cup to get into the FA Cup qualification. So uh, we're still on par for that, um, and hopefully, you know, in a, in a week's time, eight days' time, we're still exactly where we want to be. How big is the FA Cup for the club? You know what happened last year with Bentley and whatnot. Is it a huge priority for with, you? Without a doubt, uh, I think it's for, for all the clubs in you know Victoria and Australia wide. So. Um, you know, we've got great facilities at our at our ground, so it'd be great to you know play someone at A League Club there. And, uh, hopefully, get another big fan, uh, build the stadium, and put on a good thing for everybody. Sure. All right, thank you. Thank you.